Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu visits Guruvayur Sri Krishna Temple on Monday. Governor P. Sadhasiva Mindavaswam Minister Kadakam Pali Surendran are also seen. Photo, Anup K. Venue, Thrissur, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu has offered his one-month salary for the promotion of Ashtapati Autumn. Speaking at a function in Gurivaya as a part of the revival of the ancient temple art originated in the 12th century and went to oblivion in the 19th century, he said it was like unearthing a treasure. The art form is a combination of Odissi, Kuchapudi, Manipuri dance and Bharatanadiyam. Union Culture Minister Mahesh Sharma handed a check of 20 lakh rupees as seed capital to E. Sridharan, who is a trustee of the Guravaya and Dharma Kalasamuchalam Trust, for the project. The trust was instrumental in giving a new lease of life to the art form with the help of the dance department of Sri Sankaracharya University of Sanskrit, Kaladi. Ashtapati Autumn which is a poignant rendition of love between Lord Sri Krishnan and Radha written by 12th century poet Javadeva is a remarkable piece of literature and has been adopted into various dance classical art forms, the vice president said, it also became the genesis, for an entire branch of music Sopanasangitham, sung on temple stairs. Only a few compositions like this have so effortlessly integrated the country by evoking appeal in the people from Bengal to Kerala, Governor Justice P. Sadhusivam and Devaswam Minister Kata Kamli Surendran also extended their full support to the project. Union Minister assures immediate action Meanwhile, the Union Minister held talks with veteran artists of classical, folk and theatre at the house of Thanthri of Gurivire Temple Chen is Dennis and Nambudari Pat, who is also a functionary of Kalasamuchalam Trust. He assured them to release the pension, artist salary and production grant of nearly 7,000 artists and 700 organizations in the state withheld since 2016-17 citing technicalities. The minister has assured to release the pension and salary dues in a week, said Dr. V. Jayarajan, chairman of the Payanur-based Folkland International Center for Folklore and Culture.